Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me. My name is Pastor Caroline Barclay here in New Glasgow with Master's Hand Ministry. And today my message is called, Going Home. Many of us know Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. And today I want to bring your attention specifically to verse 4 as I'm talking about going home. This verse, taken from the New King James Version, reads as follows. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. <clears throat> Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Today is the day that you have purposed for each one of us. It is a gift, and we receive it with a thankful heart. We also welcome your word today with a grateful heart as you allow us to see it, perhaps in a new way. May these be just the words someone needs to hear today to help them understand our living and our dying process, and how to live again forever in eternity with you. Amen. <clears throat> when we traverse through unknown paths, we constantly look for something familiar to help orient us, anything to help guide us on our way safely. If we're walking through a dark valley, <clears throat> we are continually, continually searching for a light. In a dense forest, we look up beyond the treetops for the sun or the glow of the moon and the stars to light our path. Fear can overtake us because we do not know the way. We are alone. We have gotten ourselves into a predicament and a place that is not familiar and we're not sure of our outcome. We pray for someone, anyone, to come along and to lead us out of this predicament to wide open spaces where we can breathe without our heart pounding in our chest and ringing in our ears. We are alone. We are afraid. We wait. We pray. Now, in life, and there are times in which we feel very alone. We are afraid. We pray and we wait. Then we turn to the Word of God, where our strength and our hope are found. God frees us from our fears. Today's scripture reminds me that one day I will walk through, walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and I will fear no evil. For I am not alone. God is with me. For you are with me. I know my shepherd, my Lord, and I know he will be with me. As I look to the rod and the staff for comfort, I will not be disappointed. It shall be my appointed time to be with God. And when God makes an appointment, he is never late and he never cancels. God designed our delivery when we were born and he will design our death when we are retur to return to him. In the time between, we are taught to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. As we are told in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, in part. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, 
on whom our faith depends from beginning to end. You know, I am thankful for my faith in the Lord. And I am grateful that I know where to look. Do you remember these words? The shadow of death? When we stand in a shadow, it's only for a short time because the darkness will fade as the light breaks through. Like the rain that tapers off after a heavy cloud passes by, so too does the do the shadows dissipate once darkness leaves. <clears throat> One day, when we leave the darkness of this world and pass through the shadow of death, we will enter heaven, where we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When we are faced with death, our own, <clears throat> or that of a loved one, we find it hard to let go. We tend to want more time, and yet we hear God calling us. We hear him call our name. Our work on earth is done, and it's time to go home. We leave behind the lessons that we've learned from the Lord so that those who follow in our footsteps will one day walk through that valley and join us in heaven. May our faith be so strong as to help eliminate any fear they may have. God is truly amazing. When I think of Jesus on the cross before his death, when he said to the thief who was next to him, I promise you that today you will be in paradise with me. We read that in Luke 23, verse 43 from the Good News Bible. So again, what did he say to the thief next to him? I promise you, that today you will be in paradise with me. When I think of Jesus' resurrection and ascension, my soul is blessed because we're reminded that he's gone to heaven to prepare a place for us. In John chapter 14, verses 1 to 4, in the Good News Bible, we read, Do not be worried and upset, Jesus told them, believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my father's house, and I am going to prepare a place for you. I would not tell you this if it were not so. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself, so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. What a powerful scripture this is, and it brings us comfort and peace. When we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, we know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Jesus tells us in John chapter 14, verse 6. This is how we know the way to heaven. Here he's talking about it in verse 4, of, what, of which I just read. Then in verse 7, listen. Now that you have known me, he said to them, you will know my Father also. And from now on, you do know him and you have seen him. Beautiful scripture. As time goes on and life is spent here on earth and we are called home, we will pass through the shadow of the valley of death and we will not be afraid. 
For God is with us, as his word says. We are not to worry or to be upset because we believe in God and in Jesus. We look forward to our mansion over the hilltop, as the song says, in a land where we will never grow old. Our loved ones who have gone before us will wait on our arrival. We thank God for every promise fulfilled and for his mercy that covers our life here on earth. Our sins are covered by the precious blood of Jesus who came to redeem us back to the Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. This was never meant to be our permanent home. We were only meant to stay a while and then journey on to eternity where it waits for us and supplies us with our forever home. We thank God that we are not like the lost one in the desert searching for light, crying out for someone to come because we do not know our way. No, we are never alone. We are not lost and we are sure of our path in and through Jesus, our Lord and Savior. He is the one who comes to lead us home. He hears our prayers, especially our prayer, Lord, have mercy on me. And he answers every call. Thank you, Lord, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. For those who have accepted Jesus and are being called to the heavenly kingdom of God, going home, they can confidently say, today I will pass through the valley of the shadow of death to begin my eternal life dwelling in your house forever. I am truly a king's kid and grateful that you are my shepherd. And I can see clearly now what was for years dim in my sight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and amen. Thank you, Lord, for this word and these promises today. May it open the eyes of many and may it draw many hearts to you. And may many follow in the footsteps that Jesus has prepared for each and every one. May many learn to trust in the shepherd who will lead them safely home. Amen. Well, I pray this message today uh, enlightens you and, and brings to your heart a promise that God is giving you, that he will come and lead you safely home. <clears throat> There's a song by Charlie and Jill LeBlanc called, God is My Refuge. I'd like to speak the lyrics to you, but I would ask that at the end of this, you would click on the uh, link provided in the description box and enjoy the blessing of the song as Charlie and Jill sing it. It is truly beautiful. But let me share the lyrics. God is my refuge and my strength, a present help in time of need. He is my fortress, my deliverer, my father, my friend indeed. Lord, you're my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me to lie down in peace. You lead me beside the still waters of life. My soul is restored at your feet. God is my refuge and my strength, a present help in time of need. He is my fortress, my deliverer, my father, my friend indeed. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I will not fear any harm. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, and you will not leave me alone. God is my refuge and my strength a present help in time of need. 
He is my fortress, my deliverer, my father, my friend indeed. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of God forever. He'll be by my side. And you set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And you touched my life with the oil of joy, and my cup overflows in your peace. God is my refuge and my strength, a present help in time of need. He is my fortress, my deliverer, my father, my friend indeed. Beautiful Lyrics by Jill and Charlie LeBlanc. And as I said, we have provided a link at the, at the bottom of the message, and you can just click on that, and it'll bring you to that song. So please enjoy the blessing of them singing that. <clears throat> I would like to ask if there's anyone in the listening audience today that does not know Jesus as Lord and Savior and does not understand the promise of uh, the 23rd Psalm, that you would open your heart today to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. So I'd like to say a prayer and have you join me. And uh, that will bring you into the company and into the family of our Father God. Heavenly Father, I do thank you for the word I've heard today. And although I may not have a clear understanding because I'm not walking with you, I would ask that you would take me into your family, Father God. I come with an open heart, and I know that I'm a sinner, <clears throat> and I know that I need Jesus. I know I need that covering. And so, Father, I come and I ask Jesus to come into my life. I pray that you will direct my path and that you will lead me and that people will come into my life that will walk with me in my journey. So, Father, I give myself to you today. And I ask that you accept me as I am, where I am, and train me up in your ways. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me in that prayer. And, and I pray that you will uh, reach out to those perhaps that you know that have a walk with the Lord and you will spend some time with them or that you will touch base with us here at Master's Hand Ministry, and uh, we'll see that you get started on your journey with the Lord. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me today, and I, I pray that you'll stay tuned to the website all week. Tomorrow, Spencer will have something to think about. Now, Tuesday and Wednesday, we will not have things up. We are going to take a few days off and have a bit of a vacation and some time with the Lord and perhaps uh, ask him to show us what it is he wants us to do in the weeks and months ahead. Um, so I just want to wait on the Lord for a bit and have a rest in him. Um, so I thank you that you will appreciate that Spencer and I are going to have a vacation. Um, I believe that uh, next Sunday being August 1st and Communion Sunday, that Bill will have something up on the website for you to tune in for and so please look forward to that. Uh, Thursday will be Peter's Picks and uh, Friday will be uh, Pastor Todd's message. So those will go up. Uh, Bill's not on vacation so he'll look after the website and all will be good. And I trust that you will have a good week ahead. And I pray that today if you're facing uh, going home yourself or you have a family member that you know is coming to the end of their journey I pray that you will pray the 23rd Psalm with a whole new understanding of what it is God is telling us there. He will not leave us alone. He will come and take us home. And so I pray that you will have that prayer in your heart and that you will lean into that and draw the strength from it that, that God wants to give you today. So thank you for joining me. Um, I will be back. Um, the second Sunday in August. So from now until then, I pray that you will have a good week and that you will be blessed. And I will not be doing the phone calls that I normally do either, So it'll, and I've told most of you that as I called you, so it'll be a couple of weeks before you hear back from me. So um, just enjoy that time, 
and uh, close in with the Lord. He's got some wonderful things for you. All you have to do is stop and listen, and he'll show you what it is he wants you to have, especially just for you because he loves you. Thank you for joining me. And uh, until we meet again, God bless you.